Hello ladies and gentlemen so how is the josh after all the examination so welcome to forges academy and willy so right now we are going to understand we are going to prepare the answer key for your examination conducted on 18th feb that was yesterday really really apologies for taking a bit of time to come up with your answer key and this key is about your second shift right your second shift of examination so without any further ado let's get started the first question over here it might be your 10th or 15th or 20th question depending upon the uh, you know the answer option or whatever whatever you got in your examination right the first question is about the west flowing river the answer to this question will be narmada mahi sabarmati shravasti tapi or luni depending upon what you have got in your answer options or your question paper over here in the majority of the examination the majority of the cases they asked either narmada or at max they will ask sabarmati because it is very much related to you know uh, gandhi ji salt satyagraha as well right during the international moment the next question is about the synonym of applaud applaud means you are praising someone you are talking good thing about someone okay the synonym of applaud will be to cheer to loud to applaud you know to clap for someone hey you did so well you know rap cat examination like that okay ladies and gentlemen so let's move on to the next question moderator in nuclear fission moderator in nuclear fission basically what happens is that whenever nuclear fission happens it happens like this right okay and then this three again becomes nine okay so this is an uncontrolled fission so how do you control this we control this using some materials like heavy water graphite regular water so this nine eventually comes down to become only three right three particles okay so uh, these are the moderators the moderators will be your heavy water graphite or regular waters profane synonym what is profane profane means something bad you know we don't like profanity do not talk profane stuff okay something like that which you know which is which is very much uh, you know not in line with what is there in general principle out there right okay so the synonym for profane over here is non religious disrespect for godless defile okay i mean i mean this this person is you know he or she doesn't uh, uh, you know uh, stay in line with what the rules and regulations of the society is that is kind of your profane right okay the opposite of your profane but they asked you the synonym in some of you might have been asked the uh, even the antonyms of profane the, the antonym of profane will be religious respectful godly and things like that right right ladies and gentlemen next moving on to the next next question over here innovation program launched by drdo honoring um his fifth anniversary okay his fifth anniversary of dr kalam which was honored by drdo by launching an innovation program and that program is called dare to dream 2.0 right ladies and gentlemen the correct answer over here will be dare to dream 2.0 the next question is about equestrian so these terms all this dressage eventing and show jumping what actually happens in dressage is that the the people the jockeys over there jockey means the people those who ride all those horses right so those jockey will be very much uh, you know gentlemanly or lady like dressed and and then they will do all sort of uh, you know maneuvers on their horses right so that is called dressage right there is the eventing and show jumping as well these are the other different kinds of event which you can learn a bit more about okay at your own end so equestrian the these three terms dressage eventing and show jumping are related to your equestrian right okay hindi we call it ghod sawari right international year of millets this is 2023 there was a lady back in 2023 was very famous about these millets because you know she was pre she was preserving more than 200 types of millets out there i'm sure if you are keeping your senses open you must be aware that yeah there was some some lady out there right okay i do not know the name of that lady please please uh, google it by your at your own end to find out who is that uh, lady basically and over here your question was which year is co is considered as the international year of millets so that is 20 Two, three, and there has been a lot of talks about it, even at the international forum as well, ladies and gentlemen. Right? Okay. So you you were supposed to know it. You were supposed to be aware about it. Right? Where is the naval headquarter located? Naval headquarter is located in New Delhi and not in Vishakhapatnam or Mumbai or Kochi. Right? These are your uh, eastern, western, and southern command. Right? Okay. 
Eastern, Western, and Southern Command. Okay, this is not a naval headquarter. Naval headquarter is located in New Delhi. State with which the maximum area under forest that is uh, Madhya Pradesh MP has got the maximum area under forest. Okay, and if they ask percentage wise, you might have a different answer over here. In that case, one of the northeastern state can be your answer. You need to sh you need to check a bit in uh, more detail right here. Okay. Rolling in dove. Rolling in dove means what? Just let's imagine you are having a, a dove and 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 you are and you are rolling it in a flower or something like that. That means what? You are able to afford it. Okay, you are able to afford a lot of uh, extravagant life. So that is what called rolling in dove. Wealthy or rich? Okay, this is the answer to this question. Venn diagram, polygon, rectangle and square. So this is your polygon, this is your rectangle and this is your square because all these squares are rectangle, right? All these squares are rectangle, right? Listen to me carefully. All these squares are rectangle, right? Isn't it? The only thing is that in this rectangle, you even your length and breadth, both of it are equal, right? And polygon is what? A closed figure, right? Okay. It's a closed figure which will have some area which is that is called your polygon. So this this will be a correct answer for your polygon and not this ladies and gentlemen uh, because uh, you will or otherwise not even this right ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are understanding what I mean to say. So the Venn diagram polygon uh, rectangle and square it will look something like this right. Soda water mixed with CO2, it gives us carbonated sparkling water, which is essentially nothing but the Coke, Mountain Dew, Sprite, 7-Up and whatever XYZ soft drinks that you drink, okay? That is what called carbonated sparkling water, okay? So basically, they infuse carbon dioxide in soda water to get all those uh, soft drinks that we drink, right? Okay? So uh, we get what? Carbonated sparkling water by mixing soda water with CO2. Who is the current CDS? A question which uh, you cannot miss. The answer to this question is General Anil Chauhan. General Anil Chauhan, he was uh, the uh, commander of, uh, uh, not quite sure, please check it, uh, of the Northern Command as well, okay, before retiring and then moving on to the CDS post, right? So, 1789 French Revolution Declaration of Rights, okay? So, you know, this 1718 Revolution of 1718. Uh, it, sorry, 1789 French Revolution is very close to my heart because I consider that to be the genesis of democracy, okay? Right to freedom, right to equality, right to this, right to that, okay? And all those four or five things were there, right? Okay, four or five different kinds of rights. The genesis of this was given over there and they signed this right of uh, the, the Declaration of Rights, okay? Basically, what happened that they they guillotined the king okay louis 16 if i'm not wrong and 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 her wife uh, mary antoinette okay before that what used to happen that these two king and queen they used to guillotine guillotine means to what okay to behead some person publicly that is called guillotine okay so these two uh you know autocratic leaders were um, autocratic king, king and queen were, uh, you know, guillotined, and then these people, the, uh, the 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 common people, took charge, and and they came up with this declaration of right, and wherein the main proposition was there was the right to equality, ladies and gentlemen, right? Okay, having a chip on the shoulder, that means you are having a grudge on somebody, someone, okay, who said something bad to you, who did something bad to you, and you are like, oh. Oh, come on, what the heck? How can you do that to me? I will not leave you like that. I'll, I'll just, you know, uh, go after you and get all your shit done. Bloody like that. Okay. So if you are holding grudge on somebody, you are basically uh, having a chip on the shoulder, right? Having a chip on your shoulder about somebody else, right? The next question is about the coolant in nuclear reactor. It is different from your moderator in coolant in nuclear reactor the, the 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 job of moderator is to slow down the nuclear fission okay and over here also nuclear fission and also nuclear fusion okay there are two different thing in sun if somebody asks you what happens you will say nuclear fission let's say if somebody asks you what happens in atomic bomb you will say nuclear fission what happens in a nuclear submarine you will say 
you will say what will happen uh, nuclear fission okay nuclear fission this moderator controls it and the coolant kinds of cools down because of the immense amount of energy that is immense amount of heat and energy that is uh, you know emanated in those nuclear reactors so the answer to this question is heavy water basically your liquefied form of hydrogen gas air co2 carbon dioxide helium if you see it more closely helium is an inert gas it doesn't react liquid sodium sodium and potassium alloy and things like that right the next question is about the Agni V tenure. This is four years. Everybody knows it. That's an easy, easy question. Wherein six months of your training and three and a half years of deployment is there. The first Indian woman to uh, to win a medal in Olympics, uh, specifically in the game of badminton. The answer to this question, ladies and gentlemen, is Saina Nehwal, and she won it during 2008 Olympics. Um, um, uh, it was in the China, right? 2008 or 12, please confirm it once at your own end. Uh, um, if it is 8 or 12, and then post that only she basically won the bronze medal. Why? Because her opponent got injured, and not why? Because her opponent got injured. Even she is a very great player. Uh, basically, the fact is that her opponent got injured, right? Okay. Uh, otherwise, she is also a very great player, and post that, you know. Um, um uh, this came into picture pv sindhu come into the picture and she played the final against carolina marine of spain and carolina marine uh, got two times gold back to back i'm not quite sure even again she got it right okay ladies and gentlemen so we're moving to the next question what is the synonym of tepid the synonym of tepid is lukewarm unenthusiastic uninterested and cool right okay so if they ask you what is the antonym of tepid this is just the opposite of uh tepid will be your very extra uh, very you know buoyant very enthusiastic very interested very uh you know uh very happy like that okay the next is one word substitution and they have asked who is uh, the one person who is obsessed with himself or herself that is called egoist okay that is and gentlemen the answer to this question is egoist right okay which city is called as the wetland city of india the city name is udaipur okay udaipur over here if you see right okay somewhere they asked you like somewhere cng toy train that was also the, that that also came into in, in the came up in the city of Udaipur and then wetland city of India again in Udaipur, right? <coughs> then the next question is about your Janit antonyms. Janit antonym, ladies and gentlemen, a previous year question over here, Janit antonym. Janit means what? You are at the peak, at the peak, at the pinnacle, at the top. Okay, pinnacle at the top, right? Janit, the opposite of Janit will be Nadir, okay? Nadir or bottom, okay? Or at the uh, base or something like that. Okay, Nadir, what you are supposed to remember if you have done five to ten years of previous year question paper, you will know you must have come across this question for sure. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my engagement with you so far. Thank you so much for all the beautiful support from your side. And um, keep hustling, ladies and gentlemen. I wish you all the best for your examination, and we'll meet again very soon someday. And, um, you know, up till then, um, Jai Hind. And if you enjoyed this video over here up till now, you can show your love by showing, uh, by doing the like, sharing and subscribing. Thank you so much. I'll meet again and, uh, you know, we'll wind up our FCAT uh, business over here and I'll, I'll, I'll come up with the cutoffs as well. Yeah. Yeah, so before we were winding up, let me talk a little bit about the cutoff as well. People have been talking that the shift to specifically both the shift on 18th of 1 and 2, the question paper was little dicey. Okay, so if even if it is dicey, my my cutoff prediction does not go less than 50, but anything above 50, you should straight away start preparing for AFSB and specifically for the chaff. Those who of you have written your examination on 18, both the shift, even if you are getting somewhere around 145, you should go ahead and prepare for your SSB. Why? Because if the normalization happens, you will essentially get five to seven extra mark and that will get you how much 150 to 150 or something like that okay and in this case you are most likely to clear the examination so all the best and uh, wish you a very warm and wonderful rest of the day had bye bye take care and jahin will meet again bye bye take care